Hi guys, you're Romy from Musa, Musa XO, this channel, and today I bring you one of my favorite tools to improve communication with others, especially others who drive you crazy because you don't get them and they seem not to get you. And primarily what I noticed is that you don't enjoy the interaction with them, you just don't, and then you start avoiding them. I find this to be a great example of what I mean with practical spirituality. It's taking something that is non-physical and applying it in a way that can tangibly improve your life because it just gives you a great perspective. So this came from this. You've probably heard people saying, oh, she's such a young soul. Oh, he's such an old soul. We recognize that when somebody's behavior and maturity level it's not congruent with their age and that has amazing positive aspects and it has other aspects that can be a little frustrating and i want you guys to have this on your radar i'm going to name it the soul's age the soul does not have an age but for practical reasons of this exercise we're going to assume that the soul has the age from zero to a hundred human terms human terminology again always everything that i said with this video you're going to have to go beyond the words it just take the wisdom behind the words sometimes i don't even have the perfect words for it but there is an intent behind what I'm saying and there is definitely a message and I hope you're getting it because it's so neat this is so neat so with this with the soul's age you're gonna think of people you can scan and intuitively start thinking what what are the actual soul's ages their maturity the maturity of their soul of the people that you know and then the people who most frustrate you the people who you find you're not on the same wavelength and you'll start noticing how a lot of people have a different age than the one that they have in real life. And so what I mean with this is you might be interacting with somebody that's a lot older than you that has behaviors that are, that are infantile. The person can be 70 and act like they're six. The person can be 70 and act like they're 33. And you will notice that in their behavior. With this, you need an open heart. You need curiosity and you need determination to have the bestest time in your life. So for me personally, this was a choice for joy and a choice for love because I just did not want to walk around the world being frustrated with people who I wanted to connect with and I saw an intention of them to connect with me, but the connection didn't happen. You have to drop a lot of the judgment. So you'll notice how you will see actual confirmation. For instance, somebody saying, somebody saying, oh yes, I have to go home because I have to do the cake for my husband. I have to do his cake with M&Ms and he loves that. I have to prepare his gift. It has to be a surprise. Last year we gave him his music. He's with his music all day long. And sometimes I'm like, hey, are you listening to me? And yes, and your husband is always talking about his penis. He's always talking about fart and poop jokes. He is super self-centered and doesn't leave his phone and he's easily distracted. Yes, your husband is a teenager you're married to a teenager he's 17 you might feel like you're 50 and his psycho emotional predominant tone is that of somebody a lot younger this has nothing to do with this person's external achievements this person can be the ceo of a company this person can be you know a famous star this person can be anything they can be your, this person can be your grandfather i don't care the point is that they will have a way and an attitude that again has a lot of points of light, but when you communicate with them, you might be like, what? Why is this person who's supposed to be so wise at this age imparting wisdom and understanding with the texture of somebody that has lived so many more years than me? Why is this person so needy, so competitive, so that person might have a soul's age that's not congruent with you might be older than that person when i see those programs like the desperate housewives for me it's like seeing a bunch of 21 year olds a lot of them behave in a way that is not congruent with their age right they can be 45 or 50 and they're in a predicament that sound like it looks like they're in a sorority that might be very attractive for somebody that has that same soul age that she might understand them i have no judgment about that because i don't have to interact with them but when i have to interact with real desperate housewives of that 22 year old mindset i found it really frustrating i was like really what is going on here so the way you apply this is 
with those people that you find most frustrating that you have no joy in interacting with them you have two choices there you can be like well i don't like it i don't have to interact with them from my perspective is sometimes you don't have the choice of not interacting with them and you have to and i choose to find richness joy entertainment connection with anybody i find it very empowering is your choice see how good you are at living every time that you encounter something that is inconvenient you throw a tantrum and you say oh they have a problem i am you know oh i don't like him i don't like her i don't like the situation the other option is like no throw anything at me throw a cactus at me i'll talk to the cactus you know so what you do is you in your sagacity in your intelligence you adjust your communication style, you adjust your goals and your expectations in communicating with this person. This is a game changer. You go in with a completely different mindset about this. If you're interacting with somebody that appears older, but it actually has an age of a 22, 33, six year old person, you adjust your language to them. Not that you're gonna talk to them as a baby, but you will connect with them at that level. This is the art of this. You find a way of tapping into the common interest because of course you have a child in yourself still. Of course you have a wise person in you also. Of course you have a young, fun person. Being an old soul doesn't mean you look old or are super jaded, no. It has nothing to do with that. And so you can talk to them at their level and they will open up. They will open and they will start receiving you what your message is. That is acting with kindness. That is acting with consideration. That is acting with intelligence. And that's really being, again, the boss of your life from my perspective. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I don't think I did justice to this topic that I love so much. Expand it, throw out the window, whatever you don't like, adapt it to yourself, and please share anything, any realizations you had, any nuggets of wisdom that you captured, or any other points on the comments. I just love it. Okay, so yes, subscribe, like. I don't like saying that, but here in America, people market themselves shamelessly. It's like, please look at me, subscribe to me. And I'm just saying it because it's just a little reminder. Anyways, see you online. Hope you have a wonderful year. Los audífonos y él se pasa con los audífonos bien altos. A veces yo le estoy hablando. ¿Me estás escuchando? Y él ni me presta atención. Estoy obsesionado con la pornografía. Me hacer todos los chistes son de caca o de pedo. Teléfono, ¿verdad? Mira, vamos a hacerlo. Vamos a hacer el adolescente.